<coughs> Hello everybody, this is the third step of how to solve a Rubik's Cube. For the next uh, few steps, until the end, blue will be you, or the top. Uh, since we've already got the green face, it's on the bottom. Alright. In step three, we're going to learn how to do this middle layer. Because it's probably going to be very messed up. Sometimes there's one that's in the right spot. And... So, there are three possible conditions for how you want to put your dude, your little um, middle spots down on the middle layer. Condition number one. You've got a line here... And the piece that you want, you want it to go here, to the right. If that's what it is, you use this formula. Okay, watch very carefully. Pause if you have to. You are U I R I. U I F I and then U right, you've got this green thing here and then finally F and there we are now it's in the right spot second condition uh, uh, uh. You, this, there's a line here, and you want this to go to the left, like this. Okay, so now you use a formula, which is slightly different, but has the same principle. So, here's the algorithm. Watch very carefully. U, I, F, I, U F U R and U I and you know you've got it right if you've got this line of green here and then R I if you don't have that line of green you know you messed up and you have to probably start your whole cube over so just watch the other two steps again believe me it took me a long time before I could actually get that into my memory. The third condition is something we don't have on my cube right now, but occasionally you'll have, and let's say here, this is orange and this is white. Imagine this were orange and that were white. You would technically have to flip it. Unfortunately, there's no precise formula for that. So what you would do is you would just use one of the other formulas that you used previously to put one of these guys that have blue on them in the same spot and then you just twist the top layer until it's in the right spot so that you've got a full line and then you put the formula depending different to put the right algorithm depending if it's here or if it's here so we're just gonna quickly finish this up so here we see that uh, sorry about it. here it's orange and yellow so you know, line it up yellow and we have to do it, put it down here, so it's the right, so we use formula 1. So, uh, you. Green line. And there we are. And last layer, so just do this really quickly. Uh, I'm not really gonna bother showing you guys. It's just, in this case, you use the second formula because you have to turn it towards the uh, left. So you just do. Uh, And usually I can do that really fast, but uh, since I have to do it from the front to show you, it's a bit di more difficult. Okay, guys, there we go. We've got the entire middle layer done. Okay, see you guys in step four.